The website represents the owner's image, brand, and reputation. It has become the most important bully pulpit in the history of communications in slightly over 20 years. And we're still somewhat naive about the code, the coders, the consequences of the reach. The first web page was launched in 1991, and in 1994, the standards for the protocol, the browser, the universal resource identifier, the website, the uniform resource locator, the web page, domain name, and validation tools were adopted to check the open source code. Yet today, over 95% of the active web pages surveyed serve semantic errors. Website consultants convert the owner's content to binary digits and earn on average $36 for developing 100 lines of code per hour. All web pages are composed of royalty-free open semantic style and scripting codes organized in three sections, protocol, head, and body. The Unicorn Validator tool checks the semantic style and scripting codes for syntax errors and warnings in a single test. The results are color-coded red for errors, blue for warnings, green for valid for correction to improve interoperability, optimization, and stickiness. Alexa.com displays several statistics for royalty-free open source codes. The website's landing page's popularity is ranked among the active web pages, and four statistics reveal both the bounce rate and stickiness based on the quality of the code served. I've conducted a survey of over 3,000 landing pages. The results are summarized, minimum, average, and maximum, and the website results ranked above and below the average to inform those website owners interested in correcting the errors. Auditing websites for landing page errors is a labor-intensive coding task that only website consultants and certified students can perform. Check your website code today because website codes are like emails sent before spell checkers and autocorrecting. Thank you.